Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. And uh, today I'm going to make a mini junk journal, a really tiny, tiny journal. Uh, I already showed in one of my previous videos this uh, tiny journal. And this one I received in a box uh, from Cafe Analog. Uh, so this one I didn't make myself, but I really liked uh, to work in this journal and to make these tiny collages. And uh, it was a first mini journal uh, that I had. Uh, so I decided to make a similar journal, another tiny journal for October, so that's what I'm going to do today. And uh, here I have this box with different papers, scraps, paper, leftovers from other projects and just different papers. And uh, I'm going to take out a few papers from here for making pages. I think it's a really good way to use uh, paper scraps because uh, for this uh, small journal you don't need big papers, you can just use some paper scraps that you already have. So now I just will take out a few papers that I think will work for this journal. And I want, uh, I want this journal to be a, another autumn journal, so I'm taking uh, different papers uh, that are more or less autumn themed. And also I will take a few papers from this other box. Here I have different notepads and some papers like this. So I will take a few papers also from this box. And also some something like this. This is a cut out from some book about animals. So these are the papers that I chose for for my journal. And uh, this paper I want to use as a cover for my journal. So now I'm just going to take this uh, other tiny journal. Uh, I want to make a similar journal, uh, similar size. So now I just will use this journal and uh, cut out a piece of paper for the cover. And uh, now I just will measure all the other papers using this paper for the cover and will cut them a bit smaller. And I don't like to measure something, so I won't measure anything. I just will use this paper and uh, will cut other papers just in a similar size. Some of them will be bigger, some will be smaller, but it's perfectly fine. It's a junk journal, so um, I just don't want to measure anything. So now all my papers are ready and uh, now I'm just going to fold them in half, starting from this one, from the cover. And then I will do the same with all the other papers, just will fold them first.
And now when all my papers are folded, I'm going to uh, put them together just to organize them in some random order. So I just will take random papers and I will put all them together. Now I fixed all my pages together and I'm going to sew them together like I do with all my journals in exactly the same way. So I just took some random piece of uh, thread and first I'm going through the middle with a needle, then go down or you also can uh, go up, then again back through the middle. And then up and as you can see I didn't measure anything I don't think that it's necessary with such a tiny journal if it won't be perfectly straight it's really fine for me I don't really mind and now I will uh, tie a knot in the middle to fix all this together and my tiny journal is ready Now it looks like this and some, as you can see, some uh, papers sticking out a bit too much. So I will cut a few papers a bit smaller that they don't stick out so much from my journal. But also would be okay to leave it like this. And now we'll go through all the pages. So here is a, a little flip through of the ready journal. And a few other pages I also will cut a little bit smaller. And now the journal is ready and today I also want to decorate the cover a bit. I found different uh, small paper scraps and now I'm going to decorate the cover. And uh, on my first journal I have there September on the cover stamped, so I decided that I will do the same here. I will stamp here October. Uh, this will be my October tiny journal. And now I will cut out these beautiful birds to add something else to my cover. And now it's ready. It looks like this. On the back uh, I will leave it like this. I won't decorate it on the back. I really like how it looks on the back. So I will leave it like this. And my tiny journal is ready. And join me in the next video if you want to see how I will decorate the pages in this journal. I'm going to make uh, many tiny collages, similar like I did in my previous journal. Um, but for today uh, it was all. I hope you liked this video and that it was inspiring. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!